and Dante Taylor killed Terry and Stacy Moulton. Their bodies were found inside a home. Donald Grant was sentenced to death for the murders of Brenda McKillia and Suzette Smith. NFL player Philip Adams shot and killed the six people. We specialize in emergency restoration. This is oh my gosh! To make that a bit simpler, you have a fire, flood, storm damage, or any other disaster, we tear your house apart and put it back together. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is unbelievable. I'm Lindsay. I'm Kirsten. We're general contractors. We're sisters. And we've seen it all. Woo! We really see people in the worst situations. It's hard to be back here. But then in the end, we see them. Oh, it's amazing. amazing. Yes. I've never been so grateful for water damage in my life. <laughs> oh. oh, this is unbelievable. Looking around the garage, you can see the extent of the damage and all the work that needs to get done. The drywall's burnt to a crisp. There's insulation littered all over the floor. We're going to have to inspect all that framing to make sure it's still stable. And if it's not, we're going to have to rebuild. Them. Both women were taken to a local hospital where they later died from gunshot wounds. Randall L. is charged with two counts of first-degree intentional homicide. The accused killer, 43-year-old Liddell Thornton's murder of Chris Gradeville, calling him a true victim. Ruiz P. Hicks, who's 19, was charged with murder in the deaths of both Robert Sean Fowler and Robert Keith Gilmore. Both were found dead from gunshot wounds at a residence. Kevin Shepard, who's 24, is charged with capital murder in the shooting death of 51-year-old Glenn Wenzel. Cedric Poor is accused in the deaths of four women at the Fairmont Terrace apartment complex. His brother James was convicted of that crime earlier this year. Jonathan and Reginald Carr. The Carr brothers were sentenced to death for the four killings, including robbery and rape. Two black men that murdered my daughter-in-law. Jonathan and Wilma Hostetler of Bloomfield were shot. I extend forgiveness toward the two murderers. The couple have four children. Their six-year-old was in the truck and saw his parents get shot. Four guys run alongside this home on Valley Palms Drive in spring. Thieves shot their bully named Lady to death. 